Hi everybody, Christian here. I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the strum editor for Simple Songwriter Guitarist. Uh, the first thing to do if you're a beginner at this is probably to slow the tempo down. It makes it a lot easier to hear what's going on. So let's go to the settings and just drop it down to about 90 BPM. Okay, you then click the customize button and choose the strum pattern you wish to edit on the left hand side. I'm going to pick strum pattern number 5 because it includes a lot of different features first thing I'm going to do is hit the play button so you can hear what the, this strum pattern sounds like at this BPM. Okay, along the bottom here you can see that there's four bars and you can step through them using the left and right buttons here. The first section to concentrate on is probably the, the timeline here. This is what, what I call the strumming timeline. It basically shows you which strings to pick at what time. Uh, it may look like a fretboard with these vertical lines here, but that's actually just separating the time into, into quarters. You can see up on the top left that the selected pick is currently at step 0 of 63, so there's 64 quantized steps that you can move any pick. So I can move it to the right, and you can see up in the top left it's changed to now 6 quantize steps forward in time. The section here that looks like a bar graph is actually the velocity or volume of any of your picks. So you can adjust that to change how it sounds. So that would pick the, this first uh, string quite softly, the next one a little bit more intensely, the one after that a bit more intensely, and then as it moves down further you can see it would drop down the volume. Probably moving a bit too fast for you to hear what exactly is going on there. But you can click and see the velocity of any of your selected picks. So as I said before, just click anywhere and, and drag and you can put that beat wherever you like. You hear if I put it somewhere strange and then turn up the volume sounds a bit strange. So I'll put it back in the right place. Uh, with the bars down the bottom, you can add bars and delete bars. A strum pattern can be any length you like. And I usually stick with four, but feel free to do whatever you want. The other thing you can do is you can set the note length of any, any pick. You can see here this third bar and the fourth bar both include notes that have all had a, a specific note length set that adds that sort of cut-off or muted kind of strum sound. If notes have a no note length set, sorry, set, uh, they ring out. So I'll do that now with these ones. To set a note length, basically just select the note you wish to set a note length for and then use two fingers and pinch. I'm using a simulator on the computer right now so it'll look a little strange but so you just pinch in and you can see there on the left hand side that the note length is reducing. So I'll just drag them in. Do it with the final three. This is actually a lot easier on the actual device. Using a mouse is a little bit difficult. Okay, so now when I play it you should hear a ringed out sound. Okay, so now I've got uh, that strum pattern with a ring out kind of sound. If for some reason I really like that, you can save it and then use it in the future. Ring out. Save that. And then at any point in time, you can easily load that strum pattern and use it in any song. In the future, we'll be adding uh, sharing via the internet of uh, different uh, strum patterns so hopefully some of you can make some really good ones. Okay that covers it all. I'll see you later.